A Dead Sea Scroll Solves a New Testament Mystery The Case of Deuteronomy 32.43 and Hebrews 1.6 Cave 4 at Wadi Qumran was discovered in August of 1952 and was excavated between the 22nd and 29th of September 1952 by Roland Deveau, Joseph Millick, and Gerald Harding. Amongst the scores of manuscripts and fragments found in Cave 4 were these texts from the Book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 32, copied sometime before the Common Era. Deuteronomy, Chapter 32, Verse 43, was found intact, consisting of six kola, or lines, written in ancient square Hebrew. Translated, it reads in English, Rejoice, you heavens, with him, and bow down to him, all gods, for he will avenge the blood of his sons, and he will render vengeance to his adversaries, and those who hate him he will requite, and he will cleanse the land of his people. The Hebrew Bible, or the Torah, which contains the book of Deuteronomy, was standardized by scribes called Masorites by the close of the 10th century CE. Most English versions of the book of Deuteronomy were translated from the standard Masoretic Hebrew text in which 3243 consists of four lines that read as follows, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people! The blood of his servants will he avenge, and he will render vengeance to his adversaries, and he will cleanse his land and his people. The Hebrew Torah was translated into Greek after 200 BCE, probably by the Jewish community in Alexandria, Egypt. In Greek, Deuteronomy 32.43 consists of eight kola which read as follows. Rejoice, you heavens, with him, and let all the sons of God worship him. Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people, and let the angels of God strengthen themselves in him. For he will avenge the blood of his sons, and he will render justice to his enemies, and will reward them that hate him, and the Lord shall purge the land of his people. For centuries, Bible readers have wondered about the New Testament verse in Hebrews 1.6 that seems to misquote Deuteronomy 32.43. It reads, Let all God's angels worship him. Comparing Dead Sea Scroll Q4 Deuteronomy Q with the Greek version of Deuteronomy 32.43, we now understand that Hebrews 1.6 quotes from that Greek version which had translated the Hebrew phrase sons of God by angels of God. The Greek translators must have understood the phrase all gods, which occurs several times in the Hebrew Bible, to mean spirit beings, so they rendered it angels. Thus the three existent versions of Deuteronomy 32.43 include, in order of their age, the Septuagint Greek having eight kola, the Qumran Hebrew having six kola, and the Masoretic Hebrew having four kola. Scholars have restored two kola for the conjectured Hebrew text from which the Septuagint would have been translated, and which probably lay behind the quotation in Hebrews 1.6. These same scholars comment that some Bible copyists sought to reword certain texts to avoid mention of false gods, or they wanted to make Deuteronomy chapter 32, 1 through 34, consist of exactly 70 kola.